Michael Sweet, When Love is Hated. CVT guitar lesson for Kevin. Kevin's back. This song is smoking off the new uh, Michael Sweet solo album. Man, it's just, Michael doesn't write anything bad. He just, everything's good. Blessed man. And a really, really good man. Let's jump in. This is tuned standard. Now, something interesting, I almost I almost texted Michael, but I don't want to bug him. But the I know we're not doing the solo, you just wanted the rhythm. There's a couple fillers in there, and it almost sounded to me like the filler guitar may have been tuned double flat, which I call D standard. Um, just with uh, some of the pull-offs, you know, there was like uh, like just some things that I was just questioning. But anyways, not a big deal because it doesn't affect um, really much of anything and it's as far as the rhythm goes. So that was the chorus and it's beautiful. There's a lot of uh, production ideas in it and um, the groove in this, it's got that, you know, white snake, old white snake kind of vibe. Or Zeppelin, really. So check it out. We're starting section 1A, zero seconds in, first fret, top string. You're going to slide to the third fret and then go down up. And then fifth fret D, it's just the octave. And then right back to the 3E, e, you want to rest. And that's about the groove, Kevin, in this so You can do that twice. Um, if you can't get it to feel right, just slow it down a little and it'll come together. Once you start memorizing things, you know, the muscle memory kicks in. And then palm mute three E with whatever finger you want, but then you got to jump to a B flat power chord, so one A three D, and then start it over for that part. Real staccato, tight, choppy, four A six D, so C sharp to a C power chord, so four six to three five, and it goes two times. Then um, section 1B, 14 seconds in, th that'll actually walk up, or down I should say, on the, takes you right there. So you'll go. I gotta hear some. The beat has escaped my mind and it's gonna drive me nuts. Got it. Okay, and then, so a B flat, one, uh, one A, three D. I go pinky, and then you can go, use your third finger to palm mute three E, and jump to a E flat power chord, which is one D, three G. So, do it a little slower. And then, then come back to that palm muted 3E and go to a um, F power chord, 1 3 E A. So it's. So really, all your power chords there are in the same fretting. But we gotta go. And then back to that groove at the beginning of the song. Alright, and then it's um, two times, so you go back. And then go. Um, you gotta cut short. Hold on here. Actually, nothing yet. Am I in the wrong spot here? No, we're good. 27 seconds, you'll have the C sharp to the C power chord, though. That takes you into section 1C at 29 seconds in, so it's another walk down. That's what's throwing me off, because I was like, we just did the walk down. Um, we're going... There's your B flat power chord. C power chord, third and fifth fret. And then F power chord, 1E, 3A. And that's going to be two times. So. So. 
So, kind of a long section. B flat is the 1A, 3D. Just strum that. Move it up a whole step to 3, 5. And then the 1E, 3A, two, two times, just quick. Staccato. You go into the white snake groove. And then the walk down again. Okay, so, uh, whole step up. Then another whole step up, but this time it's more defined. I can hear the major chord. So you go 5A, 7th fret bar, D, G, and B. I can hear this. So, just fuller, it makes sense. And then some accents on the way down D, C, B flat. Oh, my bad. F with an A bass is what I'm hearing. So, 5, 7, A, and D string. You're just going to quickly hit it. It's on the accent. Move flat a whole step. Move flat a whole step. And then open A, 3D, 2G, barred first fret, B and E. Put that open A in it. It sounds like I'm hearing. Um, if you're not liking the higher notes, just go. You go open A and 3D, or add the 2G. So. Um, from there, section 2A. This is the course. This is what I started the lesson with. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can get more of a close-up on what's going on. <clears throat> kind of reminds me of Queen's I don't know. This is real epic. <clears throat> so we have... We got... So, 5th fret D, 7th fret G. Think in threes. You're going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. The second group of three is 5D, 8G. So you just move the, the on the G string up a half step. Then bar with the pinky to do eight on the G and B, and still keep the root here. So you got this. And then you're gonna go back to the five and the seven three times. Then, it's a little hard to hear. It's, it's not really supposed to be in your face. The course is just big, and this is uh, just melodic with it. 5-8, five, 5-7, five, seven, five, 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 seven. So the melody line is just on the G, right? And then the 5 stays on the D. Connect them. And then 6-A, 8-D, that's a E flat, power chord three times. We call this the docking chord, but it's a flat five. 6A, 7D, three times. And an 8A. So it's... Utilize that pause to go middle finger 8A, first finger 7D, and then we're going to go strum that and then go to 8-8. Eight, eight. I'm just going to drop the third finger down here. Okay. And then 8-10, which is a power chord. I'm leaving those down because he's going back. So it's and then lift the pinky off 8-8 eight, eight to 8-10 eight, so it's and then start it over second time, no star you'll go and then we'll jump to 1-A, 3-D and then open A, 3-D so 6-A, 8-D and this one you could go 6-8 to 5-8 or the thought I heard, and it may have been a, the bass or a second guitar in the background. Four times on 6-8, five times on 5-8. Five, five, so 6-8, 5-8. Uh, Alright, then... 5-8, I had 5-7. And I know it's not because I was just playing this. All right, top of page three now. Back to uh, some repeats. You'll see at 109, because you're going to be going through section 1B. And there's going to be some fillers. One of them is, um, it'll be... And I had 
question on uh, you know the tuning at that point, but you don't have to throw them in, Kevin. I don't know that you even wanted these, um, so if you don't, just continue with the section. Pinch harmonic 3G vibrato. Pull off to open. Same uh, on the D string, but just go three pull open. Four pull one on the A, and then three on the A and E. Um, section 1B, you go back through and you'll see another filler, which will be a kind of a Kuretake, Jake Lee sounding thing. Um, and there was something in the tuning there that just struck me, but 5G, pull off to 3 open. Or hit the 3E first. And then do the same thing on the D string, but twice. So it's a good riff, anyways. And then three pull one on the A to three E. All right, series of repeats till you get to section two B. This is a cool bridge, man. It goes. Or, let's try that again. We'll go. Then. So, two things, and then you do them again with a slight change. 3E, rest. 3E, 1A, vibrato, rest. Reverse that and go 1, 3, A, E, rest, and then 3, 1, E, A, vibrato. So you have, and then 1, A, twice, slide to 4, and then 3, do that two times. Then the next two are like this. Almost the same, but... Instead of the slide to the fourth fret, go to the third fret, do a half step bend, it's the same note, C sharp. And then hit the three A, my bottom, and you do that whole one two times. All right, rhythm for the guitar solo, 216 in. And you were right, it is cool, man. Um, You'll go 7A, 9D, it's an E power chord. And then um, palm mute the open E twice, and then go 5, 7, A, D, palm mute the open E three times. So one, two, one, two, three. Then go 6E, 8A, two palm mutes on the open E. Five, seven, one open E palm mute, and then G, A, G, power chords with an open E and then continue it with the E power chord it's like starting it over Oops. one two one two three and then this time after the six eight on the EA open the palm mute once on the E five seven once on the open E palm mute and three five EA so that one ends with so that second half goes Then it's two times. You go back. Then do the same beat basically but drop to the D and G string. Seven nine. Start it the same way. And then our third chord hit will be eight D and G. Two open A palm mutes, seven D G, open A palm mute once, so and then this is the same. C D C with an open A at the end. It's the same frets and everything just down the string. So it's and then our second half, so we start it um, again. And then so one, two, one, two, three, and then 
8 DG, palm mute open A, 7 DG, open A, palm mute, and then 3 5 AD, so you end it with. Does that 